Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, I decided to bring the singles readings uh, back along with the spirit messages. If you've seen those readings, um, I did have a poll on my community tab of my channel about a month ago and asked viewers to vote what kind of readings they would like to see on the channel and spirit messages and the singles was part of the selection and was voted back in. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, this is intended for you who are not really connected to anyone or totally single. Um, you may or may not be interested in somebody, but uh, this is intended for somebody who um, don't really have anybody in their life and they're wondering who's coming towards me, you know, when will I meet somebody? So we're gonna get some energy here. My intention with this is to get this person's energy. What will their energy be like? And then their spirit energy here. I have the, do have the spirit messages deck, so we'll see their energy, their spirit energy. And then I have a love oracle here. What is their love energy like? And then we'll clarify that with all that energy with tarot. And then we'll look at like when and how you may meet this person, like where and how. And then we'll look at a possible time frame of like when you could possibly meet them and then what kind of connection it would be. So I hope you enjoy this. Give me some feedback. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you like this, and uh, we'll see what we get for you, Taurus. So this is for someone rising in Venus, male or female. Also, and it is possible that I also could pick up on past energies. If I'm reading the energy and you say, gee, that was somebody I met before in the past or whatever, that could happen also. So please, you know, take it how it resonates for you. Um, and it may not play out in the month of April. It could be future energies. So please keep that in mind. So Taurus, let's see for Taurus single spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the energy like of this possible incoming person to Taurus singles? Want to know about new love, possible incoming person for Taurus, please. And Taurus, all the information you need is below in the description box as well as the uh, pin top comment decks I'm using. Links to purchase them if you choose to. Uh, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that info is below as well as your love and general playlist. If you'd like to go back, um, I do consider all my readings timeless. If you're not comfortable using PayPal as a tip or donation, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips and energy exchanges if you choose to do so. And thank you if you do. Okay, Taurus, so just a little housekeeping there. I need to... Uh, get through so hope everybody's doing well hope everybody is staying safe all right Taurus 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 what is the energy of this person possible person coming into Taurus the next person their next relationship for Taurus spirit please a new love for Taurus singles we have victory here so that's good energy 28 is 10 and tens are about completions of some kind, but then there's always a new beginning. So this person could be very victorious at whatever they do here in life. They may get a lot of attention um, in their work, their career. They may be a very popular, you know, person, you know, between friends, family, co-workers, someone who uh, could also <clears throat> be very creative also. All right, so what is the spirit energy of this person? What is their spirit like? Spirit, what is their spirit like, spirit, please? <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. But this person, possible person coming into Taurus, singles, their new love, next person, possible next relationship. So we have study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time. It's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So I feel like this person could be, um, maybe they're going back to school. Maybe they, you know, doing a career change or they want to, you know, exceed e even further in their career. You know, they want to be, um, more victorious than they are now. Maybe they, you know, and I don't mean that in like an egotistic, you know, egotistical way. Maybe they just, you know, see themselves, you know, 
just furthering themselves, you know, being more accomplished is what I'm trying to say rather than um, victorious, you know, so this person could be going back to school, learning something new, career change, or, you know, leveling up their career in some way, shape, or form. All right. Somebody who's not afraid to uh, exceed themselves in any way. All right, so I see butterflies there for transformation. So somebody who could have really transformed themselves if they had a hard life or a hard upbringing. They really, I feel like they could have went to school and studied. If they're not in school now, they could have really went to school to really um, exceed in life. And maybe they came from a hard life and a hard background. And now they're very accomplished. They're very successful. Wow. Okay, so, and I feel like this person never forgot their, you know, they could, you know, possibly have stayed humble. They never forgot their background. They never forgot where they came from because I kind of see all these memories here and them kind of like thinking back on the hard life they may have had. All right, so what is their love energy like? What is their love energy like for Taurus singles, new love? New love for Taurus singles. What is this person's love energy like? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we have one card for their love energy? I ain't feeling that one. All right. What do we have? A flame tree, the start of something new. And we have 30 there, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together, compromise. So I feel like this person... They could be a very fiery, passionate person, um, not afraid to try new things, not afraid to, you know, start something new. So they definitely are not afraid of relationships or starting a new relationship. Um, I see a lot of, a lot of fire and passion with this person. So they could be also a very sexual person. Um, and when I get this flame tree, it always reminds me of twin flame energy, but it doesn't have to be. Wow. So let's clarify this energy, start of something new. So I feel like <clears throat> if you connect with this person, that it's going to be very like intense and passionate, fiery. All right, so let's clarify their energy here. Let's clarify their energy for you, Taurus. Let's clarify this energy for Taurus, if I can get my cards to shuffle. All right. And I do ask Taurus if you like my style, how I read, especially if you're new. Uh, check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. We get five readings a month. Um, a love reading, which would be a love connection reading with someone you have an conne actual connection with. And then these singles readings are intended for those who don't have a connection of any kind and wondering when is new love coming in. Then I do messages from spirit. I do a general reading and I do a bonus reading. So in the bonus reading, we take a little look uh, at everything in life, love, life, and advice, I call it. So if you're interested in that and you subscribe and hit the bell, thank you so much. All right, Taurus. So let's clarify this energy of this person. For Taurus singles, victory study and flame tree. For Taurus spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, what, how many do we have here? Oh, we have four. So, so we have the King of Pentacles energy here. So we have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody with the Eight of Swords. It can be an energy of you know, feeling stuck, mental entrapment. But I feel like this person, you know, they <laughs> they bettered themselves. Whatever situation, bad situation they were stuck in in the past, you know, the King of Pentacles is about work, study, material things. You know, now they're sitting in this victorious, successful, stable, grounded King of Pentacles energy. They got themselves out of this energy of the past, of that Eight of Swords, of feeling trapped. Because they moved forward with success, drive, ambition, balance to victory. And we have victory right here. So 
they move themselves out of that situation. Energy also. We do have the Queen of Cups energy here. Like I said, can be queen, king or queen, male or female. This is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like... Let me get one more. Let me get one more. One more for their energy here. I'm getting like they never forgot, even though they got themselves out of a bad like life or situation, they never forgot like Queen of Cups. I'm getting like a motherly figure or, you know, people that were like um, motherly or fatherly figures to them, maybe even helped raise them. So it could have been friends, family, um, you know, maybe even grandparents or something like that help, you know, maybe to raise them. And I feel like here, because you see the memories trickling down here, so I feel like they never forget, they never forgot their um, background here. So we do have the Seven of Cups energy here. So even though I feel like here, they did not forget where they came from, their background, those who helped either to raise them or whatever here, you know, figures that they looked up to. But we do have the Seven of Cups energy here about, uh, it's a daydreamy kind of energy. Could be options and things of that nature. Needing to make decisions. Why is that here? I feel like I need to clarify that. Um, it's like they're not looking back it's like they don't forget the past, but they don't, they don't forget like where they came from and the people that were in their past, but they don't like dwell on it all the time. You know, I feel like they don't look back on the past. So we have the moon energy. So it's an energy of um, not seeing the path clearly. Or being disillusioned or it could be fear maybe they have a fear of you know maybe they were constant maybe they are someone that constantly tries to better themselves because they have a fear of maybe going back to how it was or a fear of you know what if all of a sudden I'm not successful and you know I'm back to where I was started for some reason they definitely don't want that ha that to happen here but this could be about deep feelings emotions fear um, not seeing the path clearly, intuition. So, yeah, juggling. I think they have a fear here of what if, you know, I lose my, you know, what if I can't balance out my um, pentacles, my finances? What if I lose my stability and I end up back where I was? I definitely feel like they do, they do, want, do not want to end up back how they, you know, things were for them of the past. I think they're constantly moving forward. The chariot energy here kind of energy all right so <clears throat> they could work in finances um of some sort reality uh real they could be a realtor they could be in finances uh or something like that all right so <laughs> we got the two of cups so let's see how and where could you meet this person? So we have the Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You actually may may sound morbid, but you may actually meet them at the cemetery or at a funeral or, you know, in the park or something like that. Or maybe you're out gardening and they walk by or they drive by. I don't know, something like that. I'm getting, like, uh, outside activity. All right, what else? Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So we have like all this outdoor um, energy. So something outdoors here, whether you're walking in the park, you're going for a walk, or uh, something like that, where you're out, you're outside. You could be outside gardening. Maybe you hire a gardener or something like that, and that's how you meet them. Or you could be at the park, or something like that, or even at a cemetery, or. A funeral that sounds really like morbid but hey you never know so 
That's what I see with that. Could be in the summertime, but let's see um, a time frame here. We have the five of pentacle energy. I see snow there, so winter just went by. So <laughs> let's see what else. So now we have summer energy. We have summer energy and we have more summer energy. So I'm feeling the summertime, the summer sometime. I feel like it's been a very lonely, right now it's a very lonely, isolated time. Maybe it also through the winter and now through this time but I'm getting more of an energy of uh, summer. Cups is summer here. Pentacles is fall, so it could be summer into fall is what I'm thinking, like the later part of summer into fall. Again, more outdoor energy here. All right, so, wow, okay. So now let's look, oh, my cards fell on the floor. I want to look at what kind of connection if you connect with this person. I don't have a lot of wine wands yet. I've seen this flame tree and it just, you know, reminded me of a lot of fire and passion. So we have earth energy again here with the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this person could be an earth sign. So let's see. Decided only to read the energy of the court card, so it wouldn't be too many signs to confuse you. So let's take a look at what kind of connection this would be if you connect with this person. Taurus. Taurus, if you connect with this person, what kind of connection will it be for Taurus singles? All right, so we have the Page of Cups. So somebody who will not be afraid to communicate how they feel. Uh, this is loving communication back and forth. I feel like somebody who will not be afraid to apologize either, you know, if an apology is needed, not afraid to verbalize, show affection. So here's some wand energy. So two wands is about uh, needing to pick a, um, pick a path here, choose a path. It also is about making plans that I feel plans and decisions for the future. So I feel like this person will want to make a lot of plans and deci decisions uh, with you for, your, for the future, maybe traveling, they're holding the world in their hand there. And there's the wands again for the passion. So two wands, and I feel like two people, two was about unity, who will have a lot of love and passion towards each other. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Oh, so the Ten of Swords is about a painful, hurtful ending. So, oh boy, so what is that about? Why is that here? So it looks like it starts off good, but then we have this painful, hurtful ending here. So why do we have that here for Taurus? Wow. So we do have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy again. And then we have the Two of Swords. So maybe this person may want to like commit right away. I feel like they're going to be someone that is not going to want to let you go. <coughs> Either. You may be indecisive because the Ten of Pentacles is about marriage, commitment long term so they you know maybe come may come too quick and you're like hey, gee i don't know about this so you may decide to end it if it it's too quick maybe you know the four of pentacles is someone that's really really holding on so maybe they could be a little clingy or obsessive or possessive or something like that and you're like um this is way too quick yeah i don't know about this and maybe you may decide to leave here so let's get a few more it seems so good so maybe well, here's the Ace of Cups coming out. There's that fiery, passionate energy. There's the offer coming in. <coughs> so here is faith, hope, optimism, healing, wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, and needing to make a judgment call on this. So I feel like they're going to offer something here really, really quick. This is divinely guided, brand new beginning in love. A lot of passion too, but ultimately you're going to need to make a judgment call on this um, 
and you may decide that no, this is too soon for me. And you may uh, end up walking away from this person. Because on the bottom of the deck here, we do have a page, the page of wands. So this is about good news, an offer, I feel. And you may feel, feel stressed about that. And again, page of swords is about honest communication. Maybe, you know, spying. Could be some spying here, keeping tabs. But knowing your value and worth. But we do have the king and queen of wands, which is a matching couple. So this is soulmate energy. You know, wanting to work on it, but maybe there just may be some toxic energy here. It could be that obsessive, possessive energy with the four of pentacle energy here. Maybe you feel like, you know, it's too much of a burdensome energy here and too much maybe obsessive uh, behavior. You know, <laughs> they could follow you around at work. They may, you know, want to know what you're constantly doing here. And you're like, no, I know my value and worth. Maybe, you know, they're watching you all the time having you a little stressed out, and uh, even though they make this offer, I feel like I feel like ultimately you may turn them down. I think it's going to start off great, and then once you really get to know them, uh, maybe too good to be true, I feel. Though we do have the flame tree there. I didn't get any energy of twin flames, so I feel like I feel like, you know, they're very fiery and passionate, but uh, Maybe it's just too much too soon, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Well, best of luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.